If you guys know anything at all about me, you know that I use a ton of different apps. I'm making videos about them all the time. I just like to see what's out there, what's new, what's exciting, and I don't change what I use day to day all that often, but I like to keep up to date, and a big part of me making this channel was creating an outlet for myself to share that with you guys. And so because of that, I'm looking at a lot of marketing materials for apps, and I'm used to seeing these flashy websites with crazy scroll animations and these CG videos that they do to show off the software, and everything just looks luscious and great and just a joy to use. And then you download the app and... Uh, it's not quite that. And so this video isn't about me calling out anyone in particular about just them doing this. And I don't want to punch down on a startup who's like just trying to get off the ground and is trying to just make a living, right? That's not what I'm trying to do here. I want to call out one company who I think is really bad at this, but is also very successful, one of the most successful companies in the world. And then I want to appreciate about a dozen or so apps and services that I think nail this. Um, just to give them a little bit of extra attention, you should go check them out. Links, of course, in the description. But yeah, one company who I think does this really poorly, who really just has incredible marketing that looks awesome, that makes me want to use the software, and then I used it and it's just nothing at all like that, is Microsoft. Microsoft has incredible ads, like look at this ad, look at how nice this looks. But this, for anyone who uses Windows or Office products, you know this is completely disconnected from what it's like to actually use those products. If this is what using Windows software was like, uh, Microsoft software in general was like, I might be a Windows fan, I may, might be the biggest Microsoft fan in the world, but this just isn't it. They're totally, they're selling something completely different. They're selling a feeling here and they're not selling the actual software. The software is completely different. So again, Microsoft is hugely successful and I use a couple of Microsoft products and I think that they're the right tool for the job. I use Excel because it's the right spreadsheet tool for me. I use Visual Studio Code because it is absolutely the best code editor out there, but their marketing materials is just, it's wild. Okay, so let me talk about a couple apps very quickly, just lightning round style, that I think really match up their marketing materials to how they feel to use. These apps just feel incredible to use. They have that special something. And so these are the ones I wanna call out today. And I've talked about a lot of these on the channel before, but I wanted to kind of combine them all into one place because yeah, they're just awesome. The first one is Things 3. Things 3 is just a joy to use. It's so fun, it's so, it may not have all the features you want, like Todoist is more functional. Uh, there's a lot of other task managers, planners out there that do different things that may suit your specific needs more. But I think there is no app out there, especially in the task management space, that has a better feel than Things 3. Things 3 is just, ugh, I just love using it. So Things 3, absolutely. Their marketing makes the app look really flashy, but when you're using the app, it also feels just like that. The next one is a brand new app, one that I can't talk a ton about yet, but it's a web browser from the browser company called Arc. And it is, <laughs> every little detail of using this app feels good. The way it caters to power users and casual users, the way things animate needlessly, but also quickly, so you never feel like you're being slowed down. I'll do a whole other video about this once it's more publicly available, but Arc is a really exciting uh, product that you should keep your eye out for. Another app that does this, I think, is Fantastical. Now, disclosure, I have worked with Fantastical on a couple of videos with them, uh, not on this channel, but on uh, their own YouTube channel. But either way, I do think that Fantastical is just the best calendar app for me. And again, across all their platforms, it looks really nice. You have all the power user features that I want to tune it to my needs. And yeah, it's just, it really looks good. I am reminded how good it looks and how good it feels to use every time I use another calendar app because they're just, there's something just not there that Fantastical has. Then there's Reader. Reader is an RSS reader app for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And I've been using it for a long time. And the reason that I keep coming back to it is that it just feels perfect. It really, really nails all those things. I really like the gestures that it has to open links, to navigate back, to just mark things as read. It just feels perfect, feels really smooth. They just released an update. It was a little later than I would have expected, but they just released an update that enables ProMotion on the iPhone 13 Pros. So it runs buttery smooth at 120 frames a second. This is my favorite RSS reader by far. Okay, this video is actually getting a little longer than I thought it would, so let's go quickly through the rest. Flighty is an incredible flight tracking app. It has tons of functionality, great notifications, but what really sets it apart for me is just the experience. It looks incredible, it looks fantastic, and it animates really well as you kind of move around everything. I love this app. 
Then there's MimeStream, which is a Mac app for managing your Gmail account. I use this and it is not the most beautiful app. It's a little different in that way, but it's just so satisfying to use. It syncs basically immediately. The app launches and you immediately have all of your emails there. There's no waiting for it to sync. You can go through them incredibly quickly. It's just super, super fast, super lean, and you can just manage your email in no time. So you can get in, manage it, get out. And that for me is perfect with email. I don't want to spend all my day in there. I want to get in. I want to do what I want to do. I want it to be reliable and I can stop doing it as soon as humanly possible. And so MimeStream does that for me and that's why I love it. It's so satisfying. But it's not all native apps. There are also some web apps and Electron apps that I think are really good. I think Slack, while not everybody loves it, I think it's actually fantastic and really just makes my communication with the people around me much better than it would be otherwise. Uh, I also think about Figma and Notion, which aren't perfect, especially on mobile. On mobile, they are not good. But on desktop, like when I get into the flow in Figma when I'm designing something or when I'm writing something or kind of like managing a project in Notion, things just flow, like everything else just falls away. It just feels awesome to use these apps. And the last one I'll mention today is an app called Typefully. It's a web app, uh, typefully.app, and you can just go there and you, it is basically just built to write Twitter threads. But all the tools you would expect to be there are there, the writing experience, is really good, all the keyboard shortcuts you want, all the UI that you would expect from a really high class app. Really love using Typefully to write kind of longer form things on Twitter. So not every app has to do this, right? Like I mentioned earlier, I use Excel because it's the best tool for the job, even though it doesn't feel that great to use. It's really functional and that's more important to me for that use case. And that, you know, it differs. Like sometimes the most satisfying app is too expensive and you don't want to use it. Uh, or it's just, it doesn't fit your needs or your team doesn't use it. It doesn't have collaboration, right? There's a million reasons why you might not use the most satisfying app, but I did want to call out some apps today that I just think have just wonderful experiences. And I know it's not not easy to do, so I wanted to appreciate those apps today and just send out some good vibes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found an app or two that you haven't used before and you can try out today and enjoy. If you do, let me know in the comments. I will try to be down there. I know I don't do a good job in the comments, but I will try to be down there and uh, check out what you guys are enjoying. I will see you here next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.